What is going on guys? This is Pure Noble. Hope we're having a great day. Now this video is going to be a little bit different. We are not going to be talking about hacks. We're not going to be talking about the Call of Duty drama. We are going to be talking about Call of Duty today. But what I want to do is I want to share my personal experience and my personal knowledge from posting on TikTok, from posting short form content. So in this video, I'm going to give you five fundamental things you should know before you start posting on TikTok as a Call of Duty content creator or if you're already posting on TikTok, that you should start to apply these five fundamental tips to help bring more engagement, more views, and more shares on your video and content. All right, let's get started. So this is actually gonna be my very first video that I'm gonna start in a video series that I wanna do that is garnered and aimed towards helping Call of Duty content creators out there, whether they're existing content creators or new people that are up and coming in the scene that wants to have a more basic knowledge and understanding of what they should know when it comes to posting Call of Duty content. Now, keep in mind, I'm just speaking from personal knowledge and experience that I've had on the platform. You know, by all means, I'm not some Call of Duty TikTok guru where I'm in the 100,000 follower count or 500,000 follower count. I got sub 4,000 followers but you know just to show a little bit of background experience that I kind of do know what I'm talking about is that in the last 28 days I did reach 331,000 views for my content 3,600 profile views 8,600 likes 2,900 comments and 3,000 shares now you know with a follower count of 4,000 I would like to say that is some fairly good engagement metrics to have for a follower count that low but like I said guys I'm not trying to throw those numbers up to show off I'm just trying to show show that in regards to my content, I know how to engage with the audience and I know how to cater my videos to at least maximize my exposure based on the follower account that I do have. Now, this is the question to all my creators who are just starting out, who has never posted on TikTok, who has never posted on any social media platforms, but is planning to be a Call of Duty content creator, right? Your question to yourself is, what is the benefit to short form content versus long form content, right? Why is short form content so good? Now, the three things that make short form content really good is that it's easy to consume right you know for everybody that's just scrolling on tiktok scrolling on ig it's very convenient you know it's a quick 30 minutes to two minute clips that they can easily consume with the time that everyone has in their day the second thing is that it's most commonly pushed by the algorithm on these social media platforms what i mean by that is if you try to do long form content on these platforms that solely focus on short form the algorithm that is helping you push your views is actually going to work against you and it's also the most convenient to make in regards to being a Call of Duty content creator because you know everyone has busy lives everyone is busy adulting has their own responsibilities that sometimes the amount of time that they have to edit and produce content is very small so what's good about having short form content is that it doesn't take long to edit Call of Duty stuff you know especially if you're just pulling clips from your stream you know pulling clips from your gameplay whether it be 45 seconds long or a minute long right it's very easy to create short form content out of that but i digress let's get started with the five fundamentals that you should know as a call of duty tiktok creator so starting with number one is learn to be friends with the algorithm rather than against it now in regards to tiktok right a lot of your posts that are going to go viral a lot of the things that blow up about your page it's partly due to the content that you're pushing out but it's mainly because of the algorithm because the thing is when you produce content that works very well with the algorithm the algorithm is going to work very well with you in regards to putting your video in front of more eyes working with the algorithm in regards to working with the algorithm in regards to like the length of the clip that you post um, the descriptions that you put in the description box or even on the video itself that helps the search engine optimization SEO to help categorize your videos so it knows where to push your videos out to which viewers you want to push the videos out to the type of audio that you're going to use the type of hashtags that you're going to use all of these little factors that you edit into your videos is going to help the algorithm now by all means try to be original you know edit your content the way that you want to edit it put any length of clip that you want to put in TikTok that allows you to, but just know anything that goes against the algorithm that essentially makes it harder for it to identify your video and help categorize your video, 
that is going to hinder the amount of eyes that are going to see that video. Heading into tip number two, the amount of times you post does not matter, but more so the consistency of the post does. What I mean by that is the more you post, the more practice that you get in editing your video, which means you become faster in editing. You start to become aware of your editing style. But the most important factor of being consistent with your post is you start to learn the algorithm. You start to learn what makes it tick because the more you learn about the algorithm, the more you understand these factors that come into play, that is how your video is going to get more watch time. That is how your video is going to get more views, more likes, more engagement overall. So before we head to the rest of the video, guys, we are currently sitting at 3000 watch hours against the goal of 4000. Now, if you are enjoying the content in learning about how to be a Call of Duty content creator on TikTok, please drop a video a like, drop a channel a sub, because I am going to be pushing out more videos in this series to help you guys, fellow Call of Duty content creators, to become better and engaging with your content and engaging with your followers. All right. Thank you so much. Now, number three is a very simple one. Maximize your views on your post by posting at specific times in the day. Essentially, you want to post at the time when everybody is looking at their phone. So most times when you're looking at that's breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know, eight o'clock, 12 o'clock noon, uh, six o'clock in the afternoon, maybe three o'clock in the afternoon. These are all viral times in which people are up and they are not sleeping and they are watching on their phone because i know that some of you guys edit late at night right when all of the responsibilities are done and you have your free time to actually work on the tiktok side and you're so excited about posting this clip that you just edited that you just want to post it now i recommend don't post it now save it in your drafts post it in the morning because when you post like i said at those viral times you are going to have a higher chance of garnishing more views for those videos so number four is a very important one the longer you make your videos the more entertaining you need to make it what i mean by that is based on the length of your clip is changes the amount of watch time required for that video to reach a thousand views two thousand views or even more because every time on average when i post a one minute clip it requires at least six hours of total watch time before it actually hits a thousand views. So for example, if you wanted to post a two minute Call of Duty clip, right? Say if it was a really cool squad wipe and you didn't want to edit it down. You just wanted to give it raw just to give the viewership the original content, right? Without making any other editing factors to have it entertaining. If you only have the audience watch 10 seconds or say 20 seconds of that two minute clip, Unfortunately, that 10 or 20 seconds is not going to help you with the algorithm in pushing that video out to more people. Now, if you were to take that two minute clip and narrow it down to say 45 seconds and you just narrow it down to like the most exciting parts, when the audience watches the same 20 seconds of that 45 second clip, that is definitely a lot more better because it has a higher average percentage watched of the video and the amount of time, total watch time that it takes for that video to hit a thousand views is going to be a lot more smaller because it's 45 seconds. So that's what I mean. A good rule of thumb is the longer you make your Call of Duty videos, the more that you're going to need to keep your audience hooked because they need to watch more of that clip. Now, the last one and the most important one, guys, is be organic with your growth. What I mean by that is you'll notice on TikTok, there's a lot of trends like follow for follow trend. You're going to see a lot of these um, viral audios and viral videos of memes saying, oh, it must be nice to get 20,000 followers overnight or you know, oh, I wish I had the community to help me get 5,000. It's, it's essentially bait clips where people are going to follow out of support or out of sympathy. So even though you might get followers from those type of bait clips, the reason why it's not going to help you in the long run is these followers, right? They're following out of sympathy. They're following out of support. They might not necessarily watch Call of Duty content. They might not even be gamers, right? They're just following because they feel bad and they just want to help their fellow content creators. If you have these followers follow you and not watch any of your clips, you are not going to get the watch time that you need. You're not going to get the average percentage watched. That is why you'll see a lot of TikTok profiles where their follower count could be 10,000, 20,000, right? But when you look at their clips and their videos, you only see them hitting 200 views, 300 views, you know, the basic 200 view requirement that, that needs to happen with these TikTok videos. So in regards to having a call to actions for your TikTok videos, right? You can either edit it in the video to say like or follow. You can put it in the description. You can put it in captions. 
but nonetheless at least that is organic growth because the people that follow you because they watched the Call of Duty content and they dropped a follow after because they liked it. That's the community that you want to grow because for those individuals that follow you because they thought the clips were cool, every time that you post content, every time that you drop a clip, they're going to watch it. So that concludes the five fundamental tips that I think Call of Duty content creators need to have in the back of their mind when they start posting on TikTok or if they're existing content creators that are posting on TikTok that you should keep these in mind to help bring more engagement to bring more views to your videos okay but like i said guys this is just the tiktok portion of the video series i'm going to be doing one for instagram i'm going to be doing one for twitter i'm going to be doing one for youtube when i start to understand the youtube algorithm more remember i'm still new to youtube but this is the knowledge and experience that i wanted to give to my fellow cod content creators because what i've noticed is that a lot of people who want to go into the call of duty scene a lot of them lack you know not to be mean right a lot of them lack the ability to edit the ability to create storytelling with their content and because of that and because of their lack of knowledge they start to box themselves in to think only high kill content or kill only content is the only way to grow on call of duty and in my opinion because they didn't have anyone else guiding them or kind of giving them the experience and knowledge they need before they started doing call of duty content that's why they box themselves up up thinking kill content squad wipes those are the only things that's going to grow their channel when in actuality if you know how to do proper storytelling if you know how to do editing if you understand the algorithm more with these platforms you can post anything else that is inside the call of duty niche whether it be talking about weapons whether it be talking about attachments whether it be talking about the new maps that are coming whether it be talking about the new game that is coming out for black ops 6 whether it be talking about social issues in call of duty they can branch out into so many different things but they choose not to because they don't have the knowledge and they don't have the guidance all right but if anything guys that is the rest of this video thank you so much for watching noble out